So we're out here in Texas with the with Yamaha and the Whitetail Diaries. My first time shooting a bow uh, for hunting. So um, first of all, we got here and I started to uh, uh, get my bow dialed in and uh, made some changes and stuff like that. So doing that and getting everything where I'm getting more comfortable shooting the bow and obviously be able to uh, use the Yamaha Wolverine X4. And it's my first time actually driving it. That's our plan is to put it to the test and really see what it's got uh, going on the hunt here with it. You put the helmet on and you just feel like you got you got that extra little bit to go and uh, this is more of like, uh, you know, just something that I like to do for fun and I really enjoy, you know, getting out and doing those things where I'm driving, uh, you know, side-by-sides or folders or anything like that and I just, I feel like uh, if you give me something with the bars or steering wheel and the gas pedal, like I, I'm gonna have a good time no matter what. Learn more about the Yamaha Wolverine X4 at YamahaOutdoors.com. The morning of Chad's first hunt has arrived and he's heading out with our cameraman, Kevin, to sit in a ground blind to just get the lay of the land and comfortable drawing back on an animal with his bow. I'm not, I guess, a regular hunter. This is my first hunt with a bow, so everybody's been really helpful. And I think uh, the biggest thing for me right now is just, you know, just keep trying to take the little things that I've learned along the way. and. I got comfortable being, like I took a couple draws, you know, at, at some animals and just to get used to drawing and where I'm not spooking them and, you know, being a little too aggressive on my draws and everything like that. So just getting that, you know, I think it really helped uh, ultimately, you know, for us to, you know, push on to the next hunt and focus on that. After a morning sit getting used to drawing his bow back in a ground blind, it's time for Chad to venture out in search of a whitetail buck. The next hunt uh, we did was later on that day. Wade got us set up to go to a blind that was uh, had very heavy traffic and we took the Wolverine X4. We drove it out to our spot and we got set up. We walked into our blind and man, like the, the deer were just wanting to come in before we were even set. You know, with me not being like from around here and knowing like the size of the deer and stuff like that, and you know, just talking with Kevin in there, and he, he kind of suggested he's like, it's a it's a very nice nice buck, and it's it's up to you. And you know, like my goal coming into the hunt was like not necessarily like shooting for like for antlers. I was just wanting to like feed off of them, and that was like my big goal to come into like this weekend was to uh, bring that home with us and feed the family and you know, just how much we enjoy it. You know, I made a decision if, if he presented himself for a good shot that I was gonna, I was gonna commit to that. Took the shot and I ended up hitting him back. And, you know, I don't know if it, like, obviously I feel like just having the nerves in the situation the first hunt with the archery bow. And, you know, I just, uh, I think that really got the best of me. You know, the smartest thing for us to do is to like quietly get out of the stand and uh, make our way back and give this deer, you know, time and not try to push him. I feel like if we, we did get too aggressive, we could really kick this deer up and we might not ever find it. We ended up doing that and coming back to camp and regrouping and getting our game plan for the next day. It's the following morning and the group along with Wade is sent out to see if they can track and recover Chad's buck. You know, if you're a bow hunter or any kind of hunter, um, you're gonna go through the emotions of hitting a deer and and not being able to immediately find it. Um, man, I mean, it's a it's gut-wrenching. And we were kind of called in to kind of help with the tracking on this, which was the smart thing to do for anybody if, if they're tracking a deer, get as many buddies as you can. After we got on the track a little bit, we were starting to find a few drops of blood and it was really a, a not a bad track. I mean, we were moving fairly steadily for 
you know, 15, 20 minutes on this deer. And, and it's one of those ones I kept after I go around any bush, I think he's gonna be right there. Man, I could see the concern on, on his face while we were looking and, and all of a sudden the deer made this hard right hand turn. And it was, it was going to an area we had heard a bunch of hogs and pigs squealing in early on. And, and sure enough, uh, what had happened is this deer had, had gone up there and expired and, and the pigs got on this deer. Um, it's unfortunate that we actually don't have a, a shot of the video to show you, but it was three to four pigs that we had heard and as we tracked ended up going in that area and, and as, as Michael got up on them closer and had to throw rocks at them to get them off this deer. All right, so uh, we shot this shot this buck uh, yesterday around, I don't know, 4.30 and we just kind of had, uh, I didn't have a very good shot on him so we just gave him some time overnight and we came out and we found him this morning and so yeah. Pretty cool, like very awesome experience. You know, my first uh, buck with the bow, and you know, I'm just really, really cool to finally uh, see this thing on the ground. And uh, you can see like the tines broken off. He's been getting uh, doing some playing and some fighting and stuff like that. So yeah, it's very cool and uh, awesome first buck for me with the bow. You know, that's the last thing that I want to do is go out and like wound a deer that we couldn't we couldn't track down and find, and uh, that's just a lot of stress on the on everybody involved. And you know, I was glad that we were able to find him and didn't didn't take overly long to, to track him down. And you know, it was a very successful hunt. And you know, that's that's what I, we came down here to do. And you know, try to pursue this a little bit more and try and give us more part of my you know my downtime besides racing and let this be something like a like a little bit of getaway to myself and uh, you know just try to enjoy keep enjoying the outdoors and uh, this is something that you know I could uh, you know really get into doing. Congratulations Chad on your first whitetail buck.